This is a low note E, E2 to be specific. If I fret the string at the 12th fret and then pluck the string, I get the E note an octave above E2, so E3, because I've shortened the length of the string that can vibrate. But wait, there's more! If I rest my fretting finger gently above the 12th fret on the string and pluck the string, I get that E3 note again. But now I can move my hands away from the string and I still have that higher octave E. It's just like magic! magic. Hello and, and welcome, welcome to, to Underdog, Underdog Physics. Physics. First things Today, first. When we pluck a guitar string, we're actually hearing a combination of lots of standing waves that fit on that string simultaneously. The main one that we hear is the fundamental frequency. That's the lowest frequency, or the longest wavelength, that'll fit on that string. Yes. It's important to remember that when a guitar string vibrates, there's lots of standing waves present on that string. It's just that the fundamental frequency is the most obvious, and therefore the loudest to our ears. The combination of standing waves on a string are part of the reason why we get different tones. In fact, each standing wave that can fit onto a given length of string is a harmonic. The fundamental frequency gives us our first harmonic, so the longest wavelength. The next frequency up that can fit on the string is our second harmonic, so the second longest wavelength that can fit on this string, etc, etc. In a previous video, I asked, well, myself, to demonstrate different sounds we can get from one string just by plucking it in different places. Here's the clip. Let me pluck the very middle of that E string on your guitar. Now pluck the same string, but towards one of the ends instead. Say what? The main note that we hear is still that E2 note, but when I pluck the very end of the string, I'm encouraging more of the smaller wavelengths that can fit on the string, and that's what contributes to that rather tinny sound. When it comes to that bit of magic from the start of this video, all we're doing is forcing a particular harmonic to be the lowest harmonic present. Here's another exaggerated cartoon. Plucking the E string gives us loads of harmonics, but the most obvious is the fundamental, which is what I'm showing here. Now what I do is place my finger in the middle of the string where the antinode of the fundamental standing wave would be. When I pluck the string now, the largest wavelength that can fit, and therefore the lowest frequency wave we can hear most obviously, is the second harmonic. And there we go. Placing our fretting finger in different places allows us to force particular harmonics to be the most prominent. Here are some examples. Harmonics become even more fun when we do so-called pinch harmonics. All I'm doing here is the same thing, but instead of using my left hand to force the particular harmonics, I'm doing it with the thumb of my right hand. Add a little distortion and wiggle the string with my left hand, we got some pretty interesting sounds. Pretty metal. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you found this useful and please feel free to like, share, subscribe, and if there's anything you'd like to see in upcoming videos, stick them in the comments below.